Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the built-in um, matching component that's included with Billboard Generator in order to improve the performance when using, when using a large amount of uh, billboards. Um, so as you can see over here, I have like uh, 2,304 billboards. Um, that are already placed in the scene. They are invisible because they can only be viewed um, at runtime or by selecting them. So let's see this one over here. It's simply a, uh, let me see. Yeah, so this is just probably a bug with uh, Unity because the preview works when you select a game object in the scene. Um, so first of all, um, if I run the game right now without the batching component, you can see that the game runs, like the uh, test runs fairly well. It's getting 70 frames a second with all the billboards visible in the screen at once and all updating each frame. And I can move in between them. Okay, um, but if you would like to improve the performance even further, I have uh, written a component for billboard generator that's included with it that, that batches the uh, rendering of billboards um, each frame. So I have already added it and attached it to this game object called billboards that contains all of the other billboards. This is not necessary, you can place the billboards anywhere in your scene, just here for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to enable the component and I'm going to assign the billboards that we have in this scene to the billboard array. Okay, now that we have it added, we can go ahead and for each billboard, we need to disable the update um, toggle over here because this won't be controlled by the object anymore. It will be controlled by the patching component. So let's disable this. Let's um, collapse our tree over here, and let's go ahead and run the game. And as you can see, there is a very significant impro performance improvement. We're getting like twice as much uh, frame rate we were getting uh, before. And uh, everything seems fairly normal, like, but, uh, like uh, they seem to be all updating at once. But this is not true. Uh, there is for each frame there is 256 billboards that are batched together, so this improves performance by a large margin, as you can see, even when I'm viewing all of them. If you would like to improve the performance even further, you can go ahead and let me just stop the play mode and decrease the amount of. Um, updates per patch, so I can go ahead and have like 64. Okay, so I just need to maximize the view now. And as you can see, um, this might not have like um, a very big impact since this number, like the 2000 billboards that we have here, aren't really that much and basically the overhead comes from the rendering I guess because as you can see the CPU um, main thread is running fairly fast let me check I don't have vsync on no. but decreasing the number of uh, batches per update or like the number of billboards that are batched per update has the uh, side effect of like the billboards looking like they are changing um, the direction in a hard way, you know. As you can see, like it's progressively updating all of them. So the more billboards you update per frame, um, the more smooth it will be, but the uh, the like the more CPU intensive it will be. Um, but it will look smoother, and the more like the less you update per frame the harder it will look while it's update, but the more performant the game will become. So this is going to be much more er, like uh, visible if you like double the number of billboards you have. Like if you have 10,000 billboards, 
updating only 256 per frame is going to be much much more efficient than updating like a thousand or you know all of the 10,000 at once so I hope this video was useful thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one